What was the most important for you, uh, for security expert in 2013? The biggest uh, incident, the most important incident was uh, revelations by Edward Snowden, uh, which actually showed some uh, information about the global surveillance programs uh, that are carried out by nation state. And this is the most, uh, the most important news of, of the year. And what is the impact of that news? The impact is tremendous because it touches everyone. Every single user now is uh, uh, connected to the internet somehow. By, by some means, we are all connected and dependent on uh, internet and its services. And it affects everyone on the planet and uh, this is very important because, uh, you know, revealing information about surveillance programs actually breaks trust to the global services and to the global network. And this may have uh, very negative consequences uh, on many levels, from political to personal use of the Internet. Is it possible to gain back privacy, to gain back trust? It is. It is possible. And uh, there are technical ways to do that. Uh, the Tor project has been existing for years already, providing the super privacy level to anyone who wants it. It's free solution, so people can go and try it. And we believe that uh, the popularity of uh, Tor might increase due to this revelation, due to this news. Uh, people start will start using more encryption to store their data on the local hard drives and for network communication as well. And this is the way how people can regain trust to the global networks when they feel that their data is protected, that nobody can sneak in and learn what is inside, the trust will be recovered. Any changes in uh, broader uh, threat landscape? Uh, there are changes. We see that uh, there are more and more targeted attackers appearing on the, on the scene. Uh, and we think that uh, some of the cyber criminals are actively migrating into the area of targeted attacks. And this is serious uh, because we see uh, that even uh, non-developed uh, from the point of view of IT infrastructure countries are now actively participating in the uh, cyber, threat, uh, cyber threat scene. Uh, as for a single user, uh, has anything changed in 2013 for common people? Yeah, and uh, uh, there are three things in the spotlight. First, it's banking trojans, which are still very active, and we see lots of new generations, new variants of these applications mm -hmm. still targeting common users' wallets and stealing money for the cyber criminals. The second scene is a rise of a denial-of-service attacks, which can take down uh, the whole website or uh, services provided by a commercial company. And the third scene is a crypto locker threat, which rise this year. Uh, this is a type of software that encrypts your personal, most important information on your hard drive and then demands a ransom from you to get this data back. It is encrypted in the way that is unbreakable uh, when you try to uh, you know, approach using technical solutions. Uh, the only way to get it back is to get the secret key which only the bad guy possesses and he will share it with you only after you pay him uh, several hundreds of dollars. It seems that everyone was affected somehow in 2013. You're absolutely right because governments, military organizations, scientific organizations, uh, private businesses and common users were all affected by cyber attacks. And it seems that uh, during the past year it has become a topic not only important for the IT industry, uh, but also became a very significant component of an everyday life.